Welcome, witches and wizards, to a deep dive into the world of magical education. At Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, students don't just learn how to wave wands and cast spells. They learn the very essence of magic itself, from brewing potions that can heal or harm, to transforming objects into something entirely new. Whether you're soaring on broomsticks or mastering ancient symbols, Hogwarts is where magical minds are shaped. With a total of 25 fascinating subjects, Hogwarts offers an education like no other. But what really goes on inside those towering classrooms and mysterious dungeons? Today we'll be exploring the subjects taught at Hogwarts during Harry Potter's time and introducing you to the talented professors who made it all possible. From the enchanted halls to the sprawling grounds, let's discover the magic behind the classrooms of Hogwarts. Core subjects at Hogwarts are compulsory for all students from their first year through their fifth. These foundational courses shape the magical knowledge that every witch and wizard needs to succeed in the magical world. Transfiguration is one of the most difficult and complex subjects at Hogwarts. This magical discipline focuses on changing the form or appearance of an object, whether it's turning a match into a needle or transforming an animal into a goblet. As students progress, they learn about the intricacies of human transfiguration and the risks associated with mistakes, such as incomplete transformations. Professor Minerva McGonagall, a strict but brilliant teacher, taught transfiguration during Harry's time. She was also an animagus, capable of turning into a cat, which served as a prime example of the skill her students sought to master. Defense against the dark arts is one of the most critical subjects at Hogwarts, teaching students how to defend themselves against dark creatures, curses, and malevolent magic. However, the position was famously cursed, resulting in a different professor every year during Harry's time at school. In his first year, Professor Quirinus Quirrell, a nervous and timid man, was the instructor, though he was secretly possessed by Voldemort. Gilderoy Lockhart took over in Harry's second year, but despite his fame, he was utterly incompetent. In the third year, Remus Lupin became one of the most effective and beloved professors, teaching students practical defense, though he resigned after it was revealed he was a werewolf. In the fourth year, Mad-Eye Moody, who was actually Barty Crouch Jr. in disguise, provided tough but valuable lessons. Dolores Umbridge, the ministry-appointed professor in the fifth year, enforced strict, ineffective theoretical lessons and became one of the most hated teachers at Hogwarts. In Harry's sixth year, Severus Snape, the longtime potions master, finally achieved his ambition of teaching defense against the dark arts. In Harry's final year, after Voldemort took control of the school, the subject was changed to dark arts, and it was taught by the Death Eater, Amicus Caro, focusing on using dark spells rather than defending against them. I'll be uploading a video soon revealing the secret behind this inconsistency, so keep an eye on the description for the link. Charms focuses on spells that alter the inherent properties of objects or beings without changing their physical form. This subject teaches practical spells like Wingardium Leviosa for levitation, Axio for summoning, and Protego for shielding against magical attacks. Charms form the backbone of everyday magical use, making it one of the most versatile subjects. Under the guidance of Professor Phileas Flitwick, students practiced everything from basic charms in their early years to complex enchantments in their later years. Flitwick's energetic and supportive approach made charms both engaging and highly useful for students in their daily lives. Potions is the magical art of combining ingredients to brew magical effects whether they be to heal, harm, or enhance. The subject combines aspects of chemistry, magic, and herbology, requiring students to carefully measure, stir, and time their concoctions. Students start by brewing simple potions, like the cure for boils, but advance to more challenging brews, like Polyjuice Potion and Felix Felicis. Professor Severus Snape was the potions master for Harry's first five years, renowned for his mastery of the subject, but feared for his intimidating demeanor. In Harry's sixth year, Professor Horace Slughorn returned to teach potions, offering a more affable and encouraging atmosphere, while still maintaining high standards for the craft. 
Herbology teaches students how to care for magical plants and fungi, some of which have powerful properties that can be used in potions or spells. Students learn about dangerous plants like mandrakes, which can restore those who have been petrified, and devil's snare, which can strangle its victims if they don't remain calm. Professor Pomona Sprout, the head of Hufflepuff House, taught herbology with a hands-on approach, encouraging students to work directly with magical flora in the Hogwarts greenhouses. The subject is critical for those pursuing careers in potion making, healing, or magical agriculture. Astronomy at Hogwarts involves studying the stars, planets, and celestial movements to understand how they influence the magical world. Students chart constellations, observe planetary alignments, and learn how the heavens impact magic, such as the importance of lunar phases in spell work. Professor Aurora Sinistra led astronomy classes, which were conducted at midnight in the astronomy tower, providing students with a clear view of the night sky. History of magic is a purely theoretical subject that provides critical knowledge of the key historical events, figures, and conflicts that shape the magical world. Students study events like the Goblin Rebellions, the creation of the International Statute of Secrecy, and the formation of the Ministry of Magic. The subject, while vital for understanding the magical world's past, often suffers from a less than engaging delivery. Professor Cuthbert Binns, the only known ghost to teach at Hogwarts, has taught this subject for decades, possibly even centuries. Legend has it that Binns didn't even realize he had died. He simply passed away in his sleep in the staff room and returned to his duties the next day as a ghost, never skipping a lesson. Despite his ethereal form, Binns' teaching style remained unchanged. He would float through the blackboard to enter the classroom and drone on in a monotonous voice, causing most students to struggle to stay awake. Though Bin's spectral presence might have intrigued students at first, his dull and uninspiring lectures often overshadowed the fascinating material, leaving students distracted or dozing off. However, his thorough knowledge of magical history made him a reliable source of important historical information, even if his lessons were not the most exciting. In their third year, students at Hogwarts can begin choosing elective subjects to pursue alongside their core curriculum. These subjects allow students to tailor their education according to their interests and future aspirations. Care of Magical Creatures introduces students to the magical world's diverse and often dangerous creatures. From handling hippogriffs to studying blast-ended scroots, students learn how to care for, interact with, and protect themselves from magical creatures. For Harry's first two years, the subject was taught by Professor Sylvanus Kettleburn, who eventually retired after losing too many limbs in his encounters with magical creatures. Rubius Hagrid took over in Harry's third year, bringing his passion for magical creatures to the classroom, though his lessons sometimes presented hazardous situations. Divination is the art of predicting the future using various methods, including crystal balls, tea leaves, and astrology. Students are taught to interpret dreams, decipher the significance of omens, and even read palm lines in their quest to foresee future events. Though divination is seen by some as an imprecise subject, it remains popular with students curious about fate and destiny. During Harry's time, Professor Sybil Trelawney taught the subject in a mist-filled room in the North Tower. After her brief dismissal, Ferenzi, a centaur, took over, offering a more philosophical approach to understanding the stars and their messages. Arithmancy, taught by Professor Septima Vector, is the study of the magical properties of numbers and their influence on the magical world. This subject explores how numbers govern the magical forces and their deeper connection to spells, charms, and magical phenomena. Students learn to calculate the influence of numbers on magical events, predict outcomes, and unlock hidden meanings within the numerical structure of spells. It's a subject that requires a strong analytical mind as it deals with complex equations, number patterns, and magical theory. In Arithmancy, students study topics such as the magical significance of prime numbers, the use of numerology to enhance spellcasting, and how certain numbers can influence the success or failure of magical rituals. For example, the number seven, considered the most magically powerful number, is a central topic of discussion. 
Students analyze its recurring role in magical history, such as the seven core subjects taught at Hogwarts, seven horcruxes created by Voldemort, and the magical properties of a seven-sided star. Ancient Runes focuses on the translation and study of magical symbols from ancient cultures. Students learn to decipher runic texts, uncovering knowledge of lost spells, magical practices, and enchantments used by wizards centuries ago. Professor Bathsheba Babbling teaches this elective, which is essential for students interested in magical history, ancient languages, or advanced spell work. Muggle Studies provides magical students with an understanding of the non-magical world. The curriculum covers Muggle technology, social customs, and daily life, offering insights into how Muggles function without magic. Initially, Professor Charity Burbage taught the subject, promoting understanding and appreciation for Muggles. However, during Voldemort's control of Hogwarts, Electo Caro took over and used the subject to spread anti-Muggle propaganda. As Hogwarts students advance in their magical education, they face two significant academic challenges. OWLs and NEWTs, these examinations determine which subjects students can continue to pursue and what career paths they can follow in the wizarding world. OWLs, ordinary wizarding levels, are taken at the end of the fifth year testing students on core subjects such as potions, transfiguration, and defense against the dark arts, as well as electives like arithmancy and ancient runes. The grades students achieve in these exams dictate whether they can continue studying certain subjects at an advanced level. Once students reach their final two years, they prepare for NEWTs, nastily exhausting wizarding tests, the most challenging exams at Hogwarts. NED, WTs are critical for students aiming for prestigious careers, such as becoming an Auror, Healer, or Curse Breaker. These tests cover advanced topics in the subjects that students performed well in during their OWLs, requiring both theoretical and practical mastery of magic. As students enter their sixth and seventh years at Hogwarts, they have the opportunity to take advanced subjects that offer more specialized knowledge. Advanced Arithmancy, an extension of the standard Arithmancy course, is available to students who show exceptional aptitude in the subject. In this advanced course, students delve deeper into the relationship between numbers and the fabric of magical reality, exploring the theoretical limits of how numbers can manipulate magical forces. Advanced Arithmancy includes practical applications, such as how to construct complex magical wards using number sequences, and is often a prerequisite for those wishing to pursue careers in magical research or spell creation. Apparition is the magical ability to teleport from one place to another instantly. Taught by Wilkie Twycross from the Ministry of Magic, this advanced subject requires extreme focus as mistakes can result in splinching, where parts of the body are left behind. Students practice apparition in large open spaces to minimize the risk of accidents. Alchemy, a rare and complex subject, combines elements of transfiguration, potions, and muggle chemistry. Students study the composition, structure, and magical properties of nature's four basic elements, fire, earth, air, and water, learning how to transform matter and brew powerful elixirs. Alchemy also focuses on turning base metals into gold and exploring the creation of the fabled Philosopher's Stone. In addition to the core and elective subjects, Hogwarts offers various extracurricular activities and lesser-known subjects, giving students the opportunity to explore different areas of magic. Flying lessons taught by Madame Hooch are one of the first practical experiences for new Hogwarts students. Held on the Quidditch pitch, students learn how to fly broomsticks and control their movements in the air. Flying is a fundamental skill for any witch or wizard, and it's essential for those who aspire to play Quidditch. Ancient Studies provides an understanding of the magical practices and rituals of ancient wizarding civilizations. Students delve into the history of ancient magical cultures, studying how early wizards used spells, rituals, and enchantments to shape the magical world we know today. This elective is perfect for those interested in magical history and anthropology.
Art at Hogwarts allows magically gifted students to explore their creativity through painting, drawing, and other artistic mediums. While it doesn't focus on spell work, the subject helps students express themselves artistically, sometimes using magical paints or enchanted canvases. This subject is often chosen by students with a passion for creativity. Field studies take students beyond the classroom and into nature, where they observe magical creatures, plants, and ecosystems in their natural environments. This hands-on subject blends elements of care of magical creatures and herbology, offering students practical experience in fieldwork, research, and conservation efforts. Ghoul Studies is a quirky elective that explores the behavior, habitat, and management of ghouls. Students learn how to coexist with these often harmless but noisy creatures, which commonly infest wizarding homes. The subject also covers how to safely remove ghouls when necessary. Magical theory is a highly intellectual subject that explores the underlying principles of magic itself. Students learn the mechanics of how spells work, the limits of magical energy, and the laws that govern magical practice. This subject is perfect for those who want a deeper understanding of the science behind magic. In Hogwarts music class, students can learn to play enchanted instruments, compose magical symphonies, and even use music in spell work. Music has long been intertwined with magic, and this subject offers students the chance to harness its power creatively. From bewitched harps to spell casting songs, the possibilities are endless. Muggle art introduces students to the world of non-magical creativity, exploring famous works of Muggle artists throughout history. Students learn how Muggles create visual masterpieces without the aid of magic, fostering an appreciation for Muggle culture and creativity. Much like Muggle art, Muggle music teaches students about the musical traditions of the non-magical world. Students study famous Muggle composers and musicians, exploring how Muggle music reflects society and culture. This elective helps bridge the gap between magical and Muggle worlds through the universal language of music. Xylomancy is the ancient practice of divining the future using twigs and branches. In this elective, students learn how to interpret the arrangement of fallen twigs and other wooden debris to uncover hidden truths or predict future events. Though less common than other forms of divination, xylomancy has deep roots in ancient magical cultures. And there you have it, the subjects taught at Hogwarts during Harry Potter's time each designed to shape young witches and wizards into powerful magical beings. Whether you're mastering transfiguration or caring for magical creatures, Hogwarts offers an education unlike any other. If you found this informative, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to Shuttermongers for more magical content. And don't forget to check out my upcoming video about the secret behind the cursed defense against the dark arts position. Keep an eye out for the link in the description. Until next time, stay enchanted, and I'll see you in the next video.